explaining in the first webinar, um, and it might be a good way to wrap this up. It's impossible for me to turn around to you right now and say, guys, when you use this software, you must use 20% exact match keyword anchor text. Okay, um, guys, you must embed a video in every post. Guys, you must, and, and here's the reason why it's impossible for me to say that. Every single niche in SEO is different, right? What it takes for me to rank a small local plumber is gonna be very, very different to what it takes me to rank an international jewelry store, okay? There is no one size fits all. And that's why if you're not sure about that kind of side of SEO where you should be analyzing who's already ranking, what did they do to rank? How many Web 2.0s do they have? How many links do they have? Do they have their social media built out? Do they have PBN links? Um, are, do they have niche specific links? Are they tier two in those links? Once you really understand SEO and you can figure out all of those parts of it, it will then dictate to you or determine, allow you to determine how you should be using this tool. Sometimes I have a client come to me and the only links that they ever built to their website before was Yellow Book, Angie's List, Better Business Bureau. All of those places when they link back, they don't link back with keywords in the anchor text. They link back by saying visit website or visit this link. So there's nothing in any of the links that point back to their sites that indicate that it's keyword specific. So if I was to pick up this tool and build to that type of client, I would be very aggressive with anchor text because I know that they won't get penalized in Google. They don't have any anchor text with keywords in it and it's what they need. However, I then take an SEO guy who thinks he knows SEO, um, but he's still doing SEO how we used to do it in 2014. And he's been very aggressive with anchor text links. If I come into this software and I try and be aggressive with links, his website is going to plummet in the search results. Okay. So I would have to be building more of the visit website type links, visit this site visit this URL, more generic stuff that didn't contain the keywords. And it's impossible for me to say to you guys, do it this way or do it that way without understanding what, what your site is actually about. And I can't just turn around to every single one of you and say, well, every time you work on a site, tell me what the URL is and I'll give you the best strategy. Okay. It's impossible. Um, I just can't do that. So, that's why if you watch all of the other webinars where I teach you how I determine what type of links I should be building, what type of anchor text I should be building, it will give you the whole rounded picture that you should then be able to figure it out for yourself like I would, okay?